Scalar 2. Let me get on. Let me talk my. Let me talk my trash. Let me talk my trash. If you don't got Scalar 2.2, what are you doing? If you want to be a producer, you say you want to make it, what are you doing? And I don't have no affiliations with this company. One day I will, and I'll be making my own chords and giving them. But until then, what are you doing? What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with another video. In today's video, another game changer. Why do the rich get richer? I do not know. Scalar 2.2. Scalar got another update. <laughs> Even better update. <laughs> We're going to be looking at Scalar 2.2 and what it added to the already impressive plugin. But before we go any further, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. We're doing Vlogmas. This is day 10. We're gonna keep on going, going, going. I ain't gonna stop until the 25th, man. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, notification bell, drop those comments, good or bad, drop those comments. And if you want to shout out, make sure you follow the instructions in the description below. Also, shout out to Drop Beats. Um, I was doing Loot Kit Mondays. I was doing live streams. He reached out to me and said, hey, let's do some beats together. First first loop we created together. And he, and he did the drums too. We sold that beat already. So if you want to get a free collab from me, make sure you download those Loop Kit Mondays. Put it together. Put it up on BeatStars. My BeatStars is HollywoodFloss.BeatStars.com. All right. So I was scaling. I was scaling. I was searching you know i do my regular rounds i know everybody has those favorite eight to ten websites that they got to hit up daily like a routine i hit my nike talk i hit up uh, twitter hit up instagram hit up scalar hit up what's new youtube all that kind of stuff and um i went to the forums here and i saw like a couple of weeks ago that scalar was thinking about updating but i always i'm weary because with scalar they don't have hard deadlines because they're always tweaking stuff. So when they said December 10th, I wasn't thinking anybody, anything about it You know, two or three weeks ago when I found out or heard the rumor. And then when they kept the deadline and I just so browsed this site, plug-in boutique or whatever, I saw that they came, it came out. So shout out to Scalar community for keeping their word. So let's get into what Scalar 2.2 offers. All right, so we're now in FL Studio, my favorite doll. Okay, and we're going to open up Scalar 2, man. Ooh-wee, man. It made my day. I ain't going to lie to y'all. What is new? Well, off the rip, we see. What is this? They got even more tabs. Okay, so they got these new tabs on the right hand side now, and it just makes it easier for you to toggle and trigger and maneuver through the tabs. Okay, because there's a lot of sections. This is getting detailed. This is 2.2. You know, this is the upgrade to the upgrade. This is T1000. Okay, to the Terminator. You'll get that later. Okay, there's so the main mainstream, <laughs> the main screen pretty much stays the same, and then we have the edit button. Just click on a little edit. Look how it pop up. It's not hidden like before. Right clicking and doing all this stuff. And of course, once you have your pattern here, you can go ahead and put it up an octave. You can do an inversion right here, or you can change the semitone. You can go up from C to C sharp, or C sharp to D. Okay, and you can also play back these timings. So that's pretty cool that they have a little tab for it. What is this? You can go straight into chord editing mode. This is the chord page where you can do your circle of fifths, chord suggestions if you have a chord or already hooked up. And also you can go to your chord search, okay? You want that rare chord that no one knows or not too many people play, you go to your chord search, okay? So they still have that, that's good. But what is this, what is this? Pad mode, okay? pad mode look at that go ahead and get get your groove on okay you gotta get your groove on you can get that going and then the modulation menu okay where you can switch throughout the tracks okay you were in a scale you can get to another scale 
just that fast. And of course, you have your progression, you have your secondary scale, your interchange, your medians, and all of that. All right. But let's go back to that main page. And what really blew my mind and what really, really tastes the cake is what really takes the cake is they added a baseline feature and they added a melody feature making it obsolete the other chord generators y'all y'all finna get out of the paint scalar is taking over <laughs> so now when you come into perform mode as you know that we got some expressions already you hit on that performance mode you can do Arp, strumming, performance phases, rhythm. We already had that, but we did not have the bass. Okay, now we now have the bass, and you now can add a bass sound. <laughs> They've added some more sounds inside. Okay, now the sounds aren't the best, but if you, I mean, you can work with them. Okay, I love their felt piano, by the way. Okay, so now we have the bass. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna pick some hip hop and we're going to just follow this bass we're going to follow this chord progression and the bass is going to be underneath okay okay so you hear that hopefully you can hear that so the bass is in there already but one thing you can do is you can go to edit and you can have the melody or the bass play by itself which is right there or you can have the bass play with the chord and the melody. So why is this cool? Okay, well, to me, this is cool because you know how hard it is sometimes to get that bass line perfect with soul samples or just even regular creations that you do. Once you get your chord layered out, It will follow the chords and give you a bass line, and then you can even tweak even further. So to show you what a chord would look like, a simple chord progression of these two. So I'm going to drag it out, and it's already giving me a bass line. Okay, so the chord comes, and then the bass comes underneath that. Okay, that is pretty cool, I must admit. That is pretty cool to see that they are already giving you baseline notes and you don't have to actually play that. Now, what else is cool? They give you different styles. So you get a, a funk. They got 15 funks, 14 house, jazz, 10 jazz, pop, but urban bass, which would fit the hip hop. And you go into the four and they'll play it different ways of hip hop. So that's that single note that we tend to do in hip hop, right? But let's see what else we do in hip hop. Let's go to Urban 5. Dog, this is a game changer. Also, you can go into melody mode. They're playing the top line now. So this is even crazier for my loop makers out there because now you have someone backing you up. And that's just one, it's like a hundred of them. Look, that's just color A. Let's go to color B1 just so I can show you the difference. melodies now y'all and how would this work so in the scheme of things let's say we're gonna just clear everything and hopefully we can just we could just start from scratch okay so we're gonna clear this out we're gonna um let's see 
you know what we're going to do? We're going to get a loop. And I'm just going to show you that way. Let's say you get a loop from your favorite producers. Let's say uh, Nick Mirror. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, you know, we love Nick, don't we? Some of us do, you know. Shout out to Nick Mirror. Let's say you, you have a Nick Mirror kit and you want to copy his, his chords, right? So you bring in Nick Mirror chord. Okay, he's in B minor. So now you have his chord progression for that loop, but you want to change it on your own. His loop sounds like this. Okay, pretty solid. Get you started, make it tight beat. You can go in here and do theme A1. And rearrange his whole loop. Okay, just by using the scale that he has. Now, I wouldn't use that one, but I'm just giving you the possibilities that you can do and how you can use it. Or you can just go and create your own. So that's the chord progression I just created right there. I'm going to drag that right back into scalar i'm going to open up a small instance of nexus so i can get a real sound make it realistic okay now by pressing a couple of buttons and getting a bell sound i'm going to copy that over Yeah, yeah. and you're on your way that fast. And if you didn't see it, let's do it again, okay? Let's start from scratch. I'm gonna go inside Scalar 2, okay? I'm gonna take one more of Nick's. We're gonna use Jumba this time. This time, the loop gives us G minor scale, okay? It's only two for G minor, but we, so we're gonna have to try to freak this, but we do get the whole thing at the bottom. So we're gonna use one of his chords. But we're going to use a different melody this time. We want to switch it up. Okay, so we got that one. So we made another progression from a loop, okay? And then we're going to transfer, transfer that over right into the Nexus. We're going to chop that down. If you don't got Scalar 2, let me get on, let me talk my, let me talk my trash. Let me talk my trash. If you don't got Scalar 2.2, what are you doing? If you want to be a producer, you say you want to make it, what are you doing? And I don't have no affiliations with this company. One day I will, and I'll be making my own chords and giving them. But until then, what are you doing? There's no excuse. I'm tired of hearing the community. There's no excuse. This is 10 for 10. This is uh, the best plug in around. I have no cons about this plugin. 10 for 10, Scalar 2.2, just up the game. The best VST just got better. What are you doing? Go buy this right now. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, HW Floss. If you want a uh, collaboration with me, you can go to my BeatStars account or you can just download my loops for free. Collab, make it hot. Let's upload it to Beat Stars. Let's get this money together. Man, shout out to the whole community who's been supporting me. I got some big things on the way. This was this is a game changer. My, I'm I'm gonna go make like seven more beats tonight. Ten more loops. You know, is is that cool? Is that easy? This is what you should be getting into. Okay.
worst producer of all time, man. Peace.